Hello, and welcome to another edition of Only in Illinois, your weekly video recap from Reboot Illinois. I'm Matt Dietrich, and I'm here in the Illinois House Chamber, where Governor Bruce Reiner just gave his first budget address. A day before delivering his first budget address, Governor Bruce Rauner told the four leaders of the Illinois General Assembly to expect what he called tough medicine, and that's what he delivered. Where Rauner previously had discussed expanding the state's sales tax to offset revenue lost to this year's lower income tax rates, the fiscal 2016 budget he laid out proposes to close a multi-billion dollar gap by cuts alone. Throughout the speech, Rauner returned often to a common theme. Illinois taxpayers have paid a heavy price for a state government that puts its own interests and those of the people who profit from government before those of the taxpayers. The Illinois government is currently designed to benefit those inside the system rather than those working families throughout our state. He urged lawmakers not just to sign off on his budget, but also to enact a host of business and ethics reforms. We must eliminate conflicts of interest in state government and end our broken system. These reforms won't be easy. Decades of special interest laws will be difficult to undo. But to be compassionate, we must be competitive. As a major pension reform law awaits judgment from the Illinois Supreme Court, Rauner proposed his own pension reform plan, which he says will save $2.2 billion in the 2016 budget year. The pension reform plan we are proposing protects every dollar of benefits that have earned so far. But moving forward, all future work should be under the Tier 2 pension plan. This budget also gives employees hired before 2011 a choice to take a buyout option, a lump sum payment, and a defined contribution plan in return for a voluntary reduction in cost of living adjustments. House Speaker Michael Madigan was highly critical of both Rauner's pension reform plan and his proposal to spend the $2.2 billion Rauner believes it will save. The second point of difference with the governor relates to uh, pensions and the spending of the anticipated savings, where I think the governor proposes to engage in conduct which I would consider to be reckless. In the case of the Rauner proposal, as I understand it, it would appear to be a reduction in benefits, which we did not do in Senate Bill 1, and they are proposing to spend $2.2 billion of anticipated savings, which I consider to be reckless conduct, and something that should not be done. The cuts Rauner proposed in his budget total more than $4 billion, including a 30% cut to higher education and sizable reductions in the Department of Children and Family Services, local mass transit funding, state revenue sharing with cities, and a $1.5 billion cut to Medicaid. Selling even a small part of this to the Democrats who control the General Assembly will be a tough task for Rauner who had a reputation in the business world as the consummate deal-maker. He urged the General Assembly to join him in enacting what he has called the most challenging turnaround project of his career. This is our last, best chance to get our house in order. Let's get it done together. That's it for this week's edition of Only in Illinois. Please join us again next week.